Hey guys, what is up? It's super windy out, so I can't film this outside, but we are right by the Dollar Tree, right there. And I have a very fun challenge. We're gonna go in and try this out. It is the, how much money can I buy books for and then sell them somewhere else and make money challenge. <laughs> Basically, I'm buying dollar books and selling them for more money. And we're gonna see how much I can make doing this. And throughout the process, I'm gonna teach you about Amazon FBA why there are no shipping fees, why I get such a good deal on these, why I can sell them for more, all that stuff. Why am I doing this? Who's paying me to do this? Payability is. Payability is a service that hooks up with Amazon. I use them, and Am what they do basically is Amazon pays you every two weeks, right? Ugh, it kind of sucks. Payability pays you every single day. So if I sell something worth 20 bucks yesterday, I get that money the next day. I don't get all of it. They charge a fee, they charge 2%, so I get $19.60, right? That's 2%. Now here's the catch, right? Can I use that $19 and odd change to make more money over the next 13 days? Make more than the 40 cents I paid for it? If so, if that's you, if the answer is yes, then duh, payability is good for you. If not, if you have a, a million dollars in the bank, don't use this. It's for people who are trying to grow their businesses, who need money, after they sell things it's a crazy concept right anyways guys thanks to payability check them out uh now into the dollar tree to show you how we're gonna make money let's go into the dollar tree i'm gonna get my cart and we're gonna go straight back to the books we're not gonna scan other things we're only focusing on books because books are a reliable thing you can source at almost any dollar tree Back here uh, at my Dollar Tree, the one closest to my home, there are, uh, there's uh, about, I don't know, 15 feet of books and an end cap of books. These are mostly uh, going to be remainders or bought out from bookstores or publishers. Remainders are books that publishers couldn't sell. And sometimes, as you're going to see later in the video, uh, they're going to have a little black dot on the bottom or a line across it. Don't sell those as new. Those books are not new. We're only going to be finding books that have no shelf wear, no marks on them. Uh, they Books that look pristine. That black dot right there, that's a remainder mark. You don't want those. Those are not new. You can't sell them as new. We're looking for books again in very good condition. No wrinkles on the edges. Nothing bent. Books that you could go into a bookstore and say, wow, that looks like it's brand new. Not, uh, this has been on someone's shelf for six months. Books that are brand new. Now, all these dollar store books, these Dollar Tree books, are going to have a, uh, a sticker over the UPC code. That's kind of a hassle. So what you're going to have to do is either look up the uh, ISBN right there in your phone or look up the title. I use an app called Profit Bandit. P-R-O-I-F-T-B-A-N-D-I-T. Profit Bandit. You can also use the Amazon Seller app. That is free. Profit Bandit costs like eight bucks a month. I like it because of the interface. Uh, you're gonna see some screenshots of it too, and maybe you like it as well. Walking out of the Dollar Tree, we got 35 books. 35 books for a dollar, so $35. Uh, we're gonna go back to the warehouse now, go through it all, and see exactly how much money we're gonna make. But before we do, guys, check out Payability. Uh, here's the website. If you sign up using my link, you get 250 bucks for free. All you got to do is sign up, and it's so easy to sign up. You click this link right here in the top right corner. Your name, last name, uh, email, and business name. What's your business name? Well, what do you sell under? Do you sell under your own personal name? Do you have a username on Amazon or Etsy? That's your business name. They're not asking for your official LLC and corporation forms, whatever. They want to know who are you, what's going on, and as you apply, they will handle all of the wrinkles. Hey, back in the warehouse now with all the books I have. Oh boy, let me see if I can do this so you can see it. Yeah, all of these right here, they're in front of me. Sorry it's so messy. If you can't handle the mess, I don't know. Try being an adult. <laughs> um, phone right here, little iPhone. Uh, I'm going to show you exactly the process you do now. Okay, you, you grab your book. This one. We'll do this one right here. I bought three copies of this. Casino Confidential. 
you, this one didn't, has a, you see the barcode I told you, it's got the sticker on it. It says Fiction uh, ATSD. Fiction ATSD right there. So what we're gonna have to do is two things. One, we can go in and scan the ISBN, which is right there, or not scan it, look it up manually. Or we can just type in Casino Confidential uh, by Anonymous. So we get our phone, we go pull up Profit Bandit, look it up, type in Casino Confidential, it finds it, and boom, it tells you what it's selling for. And you're gonna say, what about shipping? But, oh, okay, what about shipping? Here is the beauty of Amazon FBA. All these books I have, you know, here's a few. Whoa! <laughs> All these books I have, I'm not going to store them. You say, oh, your warehouse is so messy. You don't sell anything. Yeah, it is messy. But all the things I have for sale are not in here. There's a few things back in that section that are Mercari. Why is it so messy? Because I just like buying stuff, I guess. Uh, but everything that I sell on Amazon is stored at Amazon. So they pay the shipping fee. They pay all the stuff. And what I pay is an FBA fee. So when you see these... Uh, profit analysis, you know, charts or whatever, or whatever you want to call it. The screenshot of when I bought the book and showed you how much it's worth, the FBA fees, that's everything I'm paying. I, you pay uh, a monthly storage fee too. So before six months, it's like 50 cents a square foot around there. I mean, it, it's negligible. So how many books take up a square foot? Like 12 books. So we're paying like for this book right here to sell this book. It's gonna take. It's gonna cost like six cents a month to store it, and and uh, everything here, with the exception of Casino Confidential, and I think a season for Fireflies, is below two million sales rank. What is sales rank though? The sales rank is, the sales rank of one is the fastest selling item. A sales rank of two million is the two millionth fastest selling item. And you're saying, that's never going to sell 2 million, such a big number. Think about how many people shop on Amazon. The same reason we can do this, buy at the dollar store and sell on Amazon, is because Amazon has so many more eyes than your average local dollar store. I mean, uh, on, on the scale of like a, a million times more. It's insane. Not only is there Amazon, people from Canada buy on Amazon.com from Mexico, people from Europe buy just because there's so many things for sale. I've sold books, even though there's Amazon.ca, I sell things to people in Canada all the time. You can too if you do this. You look it up, you send it into Amazon. How do you do that? You go to your computer like I have right there, you scan it in, you print off a label, put it back here over the barcode, put it in the box, UPS it to them. You pay about, if you live close to a facility like I do, you pay about 25 cents a pound for books. So 50 pounds, it's like 12.50. It's very, very cheap. And then, you know, the six seconds a month to ship it or whatever, or to store it, I mean. That's how Amazon FBA works. It's extremely simple. <sighs> it's a market economy, folks. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful and explained how FBA works. There will surely be questions. Put them in the comments. Remember, subscribe to my channel. I do this all the time. Uh, I help you make money using the internet. In this case, Amazon FBA. My intention was to show you how to buy books, where to buy them, and then explain the basic idea, the gist, of how Amazon FBA works. Did I do that? If so, give me a thumbs up the whole shebang, and uh, I'll see you guys later. Hey, in addition to payability, these great people also help make the video. John, John, Johnny, Christina, Mark, me, Michael, Otto, Rebecca, Steve, Thomas, Travis, Vicente, Sean, Sheridan, Andrew, Austin, Brian, Chris, Christopher, Crystal, Daniel, David, David, Edith, Ed, Evan, Savannah, Shane, and Jennifer, thank you so much.